Hello everyone! Welcome back to An Italian in My Kitchen. I am Erica and today we are making dinner. We are making dinner and I am thinking of making a flavorful chicken recipe. Since I had so much fun last time making lunch with you guys in this new place, I thought why not make dinner tonight? And I am thinking of making a flavorful chicken recipe um a flavorful italian chicken recipe so this is also called cacciatore in bianco in italian hunter cacciatore means hunter bianco means white so it's not a red sauce that we're going to use for this chicken it's a white sauce and uh, this recipe actually contains white wine so we are going to use Sauvignon Blanc for this recipe, but you can also use Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio. Those are the kind of wines that I would recommend using to cook with because they're also really delicious to drink. My mom always says, and this is what she heard from Italians, use a wine that you would actually drink. So not just like a cheap kind of wine, like a good one that you would want to drink. And I would actually like to try that wine later on we are going to use white wine chicken olives black olives for to be precise and fresh sage fresh rosemary oregano all the good stuff that italians like to use when cooking easy simple ingredients but delicious all together so let's just stop talking let's go make this chicken Take a medium to large skillet and in it we're going to add uh, our chicken pieces. I'm adding two chicken breasts cut into pieces but that's just because I'm by myself here. I'm just cooking for one person but for, for a family like three or four breasts would be okay. So just cut it into pieces and add it to the skillet and then add about a quarter teaspoon of salt or just a little bit of salt you know when you're cooking you don't have to be so precise but basically as much as your heart desires yeah that's good and then add one and a half cups of water and one sprig of rosemary and two or three sage leaves and then cook on medium high heat until it comes to a boil and then we're going to reduce the heat and when the water starts to boil lower the heat cover it and keep cooking until the water has all evaporated couldn't find a cover for my pan so i made one up i mean you gotta do what you gotta do right <laughs> if after 30 to 35 minutes the water hasn't evaporated completely from the pan, then take the cover off, raise the heat, and keep cooking it until the water has evaporated. The chicken is almost done with the water evaporating around it. I added a few more fresh leaves of sage and a sprig of rosemary because I love the smell of sage. I think it's amazing, especially when it's cooking and I had it laying around, so I thought why not add it? And yeah, as soon as this is all evaporated, we're gonna move on to the next step. Now we're gonna add one, about one tablespoon of olive oil, one, one or two garlic cloves minced, sprinkle the chicken with some oregano, and cook on medium heat for about five minutes, or until the chicken starts to brown, just like this. Then add one quarter cup of wine, the white wine, and bring the heat up to high so the chicken can brown a little bit more and until the wine starts to evaporate as well. Okay, and when it's nicely brown and the, and the wine has evaporated, add the black olives. And we're gonna cook it for a minute or two. And then serve immediately. The 
this is just one part of the dinner but I just wanted to come here and taste test it with you and see what it tastes like so buon appetito Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. It's a good protein source. Um, I really, I really like this chicken. I think it's really good. It gives chicken something more. It's more flavorful compared to, you know, like a regular chicken breast that you can make. Um, and I'm not a really big chicken fan, but um, made like this, made a little bit more interesting with black olives. I love black olives anywhere, anytime, any kind um, of olives, I mean. Um, it just it just gives it some more. It gives it so much more, you know, the sage, the rosemary, the black olives, the white wine. It just works perfectly. I'm really enjoying this video. I think it's a, it's a nice way of, you know, spending some time together and, you know, making dinner, making lunch, and it, it's easy, quick, and you're not feeling by yourself while you're cooking. Give me a thumbs up if, if you liked the video and let me know if there is anything else you would like me to make, some more pasta dishes, some more summer recipes. As always, let me know in the comments below if you made it, what you thought of it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!